So let's take a look at our presentation. And uh, to avoid switching between my browser and Visual Studio environment, I'm just going to copy uh, this URL uh, over to my uh, uh, browser built in here. So we just go to view other windows and web browser. Okay, so in this uh, web browser, um, and I will even uh, copy and paste uh, the handout uh, URL into this uh, address bar right here so that instead of looking at individual slides we can open uh, the uh, uh, the entire handout so we can just scroll through this so the first uh, feature is to add a new function which is not um, a member function of this rectangle and this new function is named normalize so let's take a look at uh, normalize uh, like this and uh, i will of course uh, because i already have an implementation file what i'm about to do i'm going to copy this um, normalize function uh, from this handout and add it to uh, the implementation file of our rectangle and uh, i'll probably just keep doing this uh, on top of our file so that you can uh, see the uh, the name of the file at the top okay so here we'll just add normalize so normalize is a global function or a freestanding function does not belong to any structures it's just a uh, just a function and we would like to pass the rectangle as a parameter and um, um, as a result uh, of this function, what we'd like to do is we want to uh, normalization of the rectangle means that we would like to set the dimensions of the rectangle uh, to uh, unit, uh, one unit uh, width and height. Okay, so that should work okay. And uh, let's get this tested. Uh, normally, you would take the uh, function uh, signature right here and add it to the header file which um, which is uh, defining all features uh, really uh, related or uh, rather declaring features re uh, related to rectangle structures and add it here just with the semicolon right so these are um, what we call function uh, declarations or prototypes right so um, uh, header files are perfect places for uh, function uh, declarations or prototypes and once this structure rectangle is defined of course we can now uh, start declaring functions that use uh, rectangles so let's uh, find out how this works uh, we have um, a rectangle created right here with uh, uh, some uh, uh, width and height uh, uh, different uh, than uh, unit size and we also uh, set dimensions so this time we're going to add a call to normalize right so we're just going to say normalize the rectangle that we're having right here okay we're going to add this uh, call to function normalize we're going to pass uh, this uh, uh, rectangle uh, to our function and uh, when the function is invoked right here of course we're going to set dimensions uh, uh, 1 1 for the width and height and we can repeat printing this I guess this is our way of uh, testing this and um, uh, we can uh, call this uh, normalized normalized rectangle width rectangle height and rectangle area okay so it's the same object uh, that we create right here right so uh, on this line of code we create this object in memory i draw it as a box uh, right here uh, which will which will have uh, the width the height and the name which is a string right here included so we already know when we set the dimensions to whatever the values are um, notice that set dimensions uh, right here is a member function of structure rectangle so therefore 
this function is invoked for the object because in order to call a member function you have to have an object so we have an object named rectangle we use member resolution operator which is this uh, dot operator and we say rectangle let's set new dimensions so of course the 200 and the 300 are being uh, set uh, inside uh, this object but how about normalize right the question is what is happening to the normalize so let's compare it with normalize now in C++ and in C all structures and all primitive uh, variables pretty much all uh, types all data types both primitive data types or built-in data types and uh, user-defined data types the data types that we define the new concept they're all passed by value so if we run this program okay i build this new version of our program and i quickly run it to demonstrate you see that uh, the normalized uh, rectangle with height and area hasn't changed from the uh, denormalized version which was the original version which is like non-unit um, uh, sides uh, so why did this happen so basically the expectancy that this should look like this with normalized width and height did not work so basically our first attempt to uh, implement this normalization feature did not work and the reason it did not work is that when we um, call function normalize on our rectangle so this rectangle is already uh, lives somewhere in memory so it's an object and when we say to the normalize that we want to, to pass rectangle uh, being a parameter of this function notice that there is no any kind of interaction it's not it's not uh, passed by address or anything uh, this version of function parameter actually before function normalize gets invoked right here right before the rectangle is set the dimension a copy of the original object is manufactured exactly the same okay and so this rectangle the parameter of the normalized function is getting access to an exact copy because compiler writes the code to generate a copy of this rectangle um, in memory and give this copy to the function normalize so this gets normalized right so this copy is normalized so it gets width one and width and and height one as a result of this uh, set new dimensions and then as soon as we return from normalize back to the main uh, function the copy is destroyed because this was only a temporary copy that was given to the normalize for processing so the original uh, rectangle created here remains as it was in in main before the call so this is why this version of our program didn't work so let's see what uh, what our handout suggests to do so of course what we uh, this is our discussion right here that the copy of the original object is made let me just uh, adjust a little bit this um, font um, and uh, so we need to pass our uh, it, to, to make sure that normalize works properly we need to pass to the normalize um, uh, an address uh, of an object instead of uh, a copy okay so let's uh, switch to this new uh, version and we know how pointers work so we add an asterisk in front of the name of the data type and now we say that a rect over here um, is a pointer or address of a rectangle so if we make this change of course we should not forget that function prototypes have to match function definitions and we must make the same update right here okay so a rect here uh, becomes uh, uh, a, a pointer uh, to a rectangle and pointer is a small variable pretty much the size of an integer that contains the address of the original object so we pass it indirectly 
and uh, uh, let's uh, also name uh, uh, let's let's make sure that this uh, pointer name uh, is recognized so i'm going to change it to p rect right which means pointer to rectangle to kind of like reflect in the name uh, of this thing that it's not really a direct object this is a pointer you know, to an object and therefore of course we, we need to update it here as well so we have this a pointer to rectangle and of course before we can access object we have to uh, dereference this object right so we have to uh, dereference the object like this okay so basically uh, this is in direction uh, operator right uh, or or object access operator so basically we say to the compiler that we gave you an address of an object the object type is rectangle and we would like to uh, go to this object and set its dimensions let's find out if this version works okay so uh, we're going to save everything uh, we can click this button or press shift Control s and try building it and we're still getting this error right here that uh, the compiler tells us that um, you are telling me that um, the normalized function is expecting an address of an object but you're giving me you are attempting to give me a copy of an object so the uh, basically the the attempt to initialize this pointer with an object doesn't work you have to be uh, more explicit about this and you have to give me uh, an address of an object instead so in in, in, as soon as we switch to using pointers like this uh, we must uh, ask the object what is your address and then taking address of an object and giving it to a variable uh, this input parameter of normalize which is a pointer variable of course is a good match so let's save this right so this is the latest change that we made with an ampersand right here i'm going to build this now and run it and you can see that of course now everything works so the normalized rectangle width and height is one and its area is also one so now we made this function do as expected a quick uh, basically very quick um, uh, review of what we have uh, so far and so once again we create this rectangle okay and i'll just draw the box right here so this is our rectangle and it contains all of these variables now we also uh take uh, uh we, we attempt to call function normalize so function normalize is using a pointer uh, parameter so this pointer parameter um, uh, is expecting to be uh, to contain the address of an object it's not a copy of an object it's just an address of an object which is just a very small and very efficient type of variable and uh, before we um, uh, before we call this function we take address of the rectangle so address of the rectangle returns address of a rectangle in memory right so it's located somewhere in memory and then this address then gets uh, um, here to initialize right to initialize our uh, our input variable so therefore what we have here is that of course we uh, get what we want basically we get a pointer here which is uh, perfectly fine to point to this object in memory right if this is our object in memory right here where we created it so everything works and of course one final thing that we now need to be aware of is that this syntax has to be in place because this is a pointer and not a copy of an object or not the the object that we created here we have to dereference pointer to convert pointer to an actual object right so dereferenced pointer is this object right here when we dereference this um, this pointer with uh, with this asterisk in front of it it becomes an actual object and we can then say okay let's set the dimensions and of course these new dimensions updated the actual object and uh, the dimensions are being set to one which is the expected behavior which is the actual intent of the idea of normalizing 
a rectangle by setting it width and height to 1. 